feels a bit fucking weird, but here we go. Um, going over to Chuck Lou's roof rack and roof tent on. Got a fair bit of uh, truck content this weekend, so I thought I'd get a bit of filming done and see how we get on with it. My foot, I've had a bit of welding done on the truck, new outriggers and uh, bulkhead repair, so all the footwells are out. Uh, they're currently unbolted and it is a noisy as, so I will jump back on this once you've got that because you won't hear a thing otherwise. <laughs> How are you planning on doing it? Straight off the trailer and move it on the back or? I reckon if we just get one each side, one like usual. Just wing it on. I'm gonna lose my summer if it makes it really sad. I said the only aircon I've got. Yeah, but you always gone. get burnt, so it's not a massive loss. <laughs> I need that right. Hey, Zach's trying to get rid of his Union Jack. Got a on Union Jack. truck back on the sweet galve. He used to run 35s with a 4 inch. It's now on 33s, true 33s. On a galve on a 2 inch. Got to get his roof tent back on there. Should be a little easier. He's got the old spicy Raptor dash. Nice little touch head unit. Switch set up. Middle seat. Bumper, winch. So his roof tent was on a 110 he had. I'll put a picture on the screen. This was his original truck. Uh, chassis got to the point where it needed the galve, moved to the 110, decided the 110 was a bit too big for him, not the family car he's hoping it would be. So she's getting built again, this will be version 3. Which ones have you cut? The bracket or the leg bolts? These. Yeah, they were tight to the. Imagine if you had the ridge like I had. Hey, look at the fronts. They're lower than the actual. So a bit clear. It's a bit warranty, boy. That's it, boy. That's Take it. Me first, boy. <laughs> we got a ticket for that tool, mate. <laughs> I am actually qualified grinder. <laughs> <laughs> In that. It's not that bad, is it? We had this I'm for sure yours. mine's heavier. We thought it was going to be well heavier. Blood weight aluminium tubing, mate. <laughs> Hang on, push that rear leg, Connor. Oh, it's popped out my side. Good? Yeah. One little. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm in my side. This jumped out this side completely then. All the way along? Yeah. A couple of spots just there. What's your thought on light bars, my friend? I think spots. Light bars have been overdone, haven't they? Too spicy. See people grand, like granddads on their old Ford Rangers got fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. CLBs are gone. Twenty quid. There's nothing like special about them anymore, is there? Straight on the middle of the bonnet. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like they a bolt them to the bonnet. I don't. I it's wonder if they bolt them on. The mechanics like, what a cunt. The bonnet and the looms just pinned it down. Oh, look at the chickens kicking off in there. Don't be chewing. Oh, there's a little gem. Got to get 
it's working at some point. You've got 12 volts set up, but not too sure why it keeps killing the uh, solenoid switch over. Nathan Derulo. How's it going, Mark? Who's roof tents on? Gonna root Connors, re flip his round. Number two. Got his clubs off the back door with his awning. So we'll flip it around. Mate, the palace, mate. Keep hydrated. Stay safe, kids. Stay safe. <laughs> well, got that titanium exhaust oh, upgrade on stuff. the pizza oven. Yeah, that's it. Street power. How many horsepower do you reckon that's got, Zach? Right. At least 50. 50 horsepower, that. One pizza a minute. Time, mate, Spoiled. I'm literally like. Mace now got home and started using a remote for the telly instead of walking up to it. So <laughs> <laughs> How bad? Oh, definitely. Ooh, up the middle here. No one near as bad as mine. Really? Oh, oh you know, you it's cracked. Right, yeah, that's got years left. What are you on about? <laughs> You're condemning it, Zach. Hey everyone, my name's Tate oh, Tristan. Is it that dude? Who's the dude on uh, TikTok? Connor, who's the dude on TikTok who wears glasses like this and he's bold and he's always got stuff to say? Okay. Tell your wife she's a bitch. <laughs> what are we doing then, Connor? You water water. <laughs> it's there. No, my dick. Oh, do it, do it, fits. You fucking womble. So, we doing? Are we spinning the bars or? I don't know. I'm going to unbolt it. Off the bars. Unbolt it from this first. And then... Look at the strength. Well, that's it, boys. What's going on here, boys? Oh, you dirty bastard. <laughs> you dirty bastard. I don't used to be there. Yeah. No, <laughs> you bought it first, didn't you? And you put it on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Is that basket? Yeah. Whoa! They pre-drew it, yeah. I don't know, just. No, no. Nah, they're staying in the park. Oh, don't rip that. Fucking on my money. Fucking on the stinks of fire. 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 <laughs> he just needs to go in and just stop fucking me about immediately. Change the setting to like one. You're not, you're not liking the full play, Lee? Destroy it, just in case. Still didn't work. Never does, to be fair. I always think it will. What was that? Spit and push. <laughs> Gun it! So, we didn't actually get much done today. Um, Lose roof tent back on and spunk on his round. Um, one of them awkward jobs, really. Uh, still got footwear. <laughs> Boy flower. Right, so 
foot wells and mats back in. I've got the YRM um, fixing kit. I have two of these. I also got my outriggers and bulkhead repair panels from YRM. These consist of your new plastic grips that go into the slots, set of screws, and they provide you with some pan heads for the two bolts by the door. I've decided to save getting my fat hands on a nut on the underside of the sill panel to bolt the them in. I'm going to use a rivet nut. Um, if you're to use that kit, you'll need an M7 rivet nut. I haven't got any of them left, so M8 and a bolt. So, foot bells out. Oxiders are off. Got new outrigger. And the sill uh, bulkhead's been repaired. I need to put a bit of dolphin glaze over that, touch up with the paint. Got new door hinges, so it's real. So, I'm going to put two rivet nuts in here to save having to reach under here and get the nut in. So as with anything old, to be expected, not all of it lines up, uh, at some point it will get a new bulkhead. There's a repair in this corner which is making it tight to get the footwell panel in. As I'm sure some of you know, 4077 footwell mats, bulkhead mats are a nightmare to get hold of or cost. Stupid amount of money. Um, so what I did was get a set of TD5 or R380 mats. I paid like 40 quid for them. Did a bit of trimming and they are ideal. The main thing for me was getting something with a bit of foam back in. It's quieting the sound down. And it makes a hell of a difference. So yeah, as you can see, fuse panel comes off. Mat tucks behind there. Obviously on the R380, this bulge is coming on this side of the tunnel lt77 sticks out here so with a stanley nice little neat trim um you do have to do a little trim in this top corner but tuck the mat up into the rail tuck behind the fuse box a bit of a sag but 10 times better unless you've got i think something like 300 pounds to spend on the fully fitted mats so rinse and repeat on the driver's side this bulkhead mat back in, get a little trim mark. That's all tight. That's all the mats back in. Footwell's bolted in, minus a couple of bolts. Next on the list will be G sliders back on. Got something in the pipeline with the boys from Hyena. Hopefully. Finish the truck off quite nicely. Got to sort that out. As I said, a bit of dolphin glaze, paint, new door hinges, touch up everywhere. This was roller painted with paint and coach enamel. So four years in, not gonna cry. Easy touching up. Got LED lights again, hyena. I'm lazy. They're not missing. Yeah, fair bit to do still. So this weekend wasn't as productive as initially planned. Uh, two roof tents done. Again, like I said, fiddly jobs. Um, footwells are back in. Everything sounds a bit better in here. Mats are in. Got some tidying up still on the truck. Uh, roller painted it nearly four years ago now. Um, so I'll go around smarten it up a bit get it ready for peterborough um as i say a couple of new bits hopefully coming from the boys over at hyena uh, other than that if you've actually bothered to watch it sweet